When we left off, we had finally left the dock, moving back out on anchor to bend on our new mainsail. Today we're attempting to start our heater install, which we've been putting off for a little while. Just trying to come up with a good place for everything to go, because we've got to do a lot of different running of exhaust hoses, fuel lines, and vent hoses, and all that sort of deal. And those runs are very particular in terms of how efficient your heater is, um, because it's a diesel heater. You want to watch the different lengths of the runs and how many bends and stuff you have in that system for back pressure. It concerns how much sooting you're going to get in your system, how often you have to clean it, and just how efficient it runs. So I think we've kind of got it figured out at least to the point where we're just going to do it and hope for the best and then we'll play with it as we go. Well, after evaluating quite a few different locations, we settled on underneath the starboard settee here, the very aft end of the settee. Our plan is to run the exhaust. Um, we can do a pretty easy run out the end of that cupboard. We'll go up behind the stove in the galley and out the side of the hull. And then it will vent out right into the main salon um, right above the floor, so nice and low, which is good. So I think my plan will be to go a cleat like this at either end. And then we'll just have one of these on either side. And then the heater plate will mount over the top of that. So six and seven eighths minus two and three eighths. Math time. Ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America, this thing here makes no sense, okay? Centimeters, it's very easy. It's, it's, it's just numbers, I don't know. I know it's all numbers, but these are proper numbers, decimal numbers and what are they, metric, yeah. So seven eighths minus three eighths. Seven minus three is four, so that's four eighths. Four eighths, same as a half. Six minus two is four, so four and a half. Easy. Uh, hopefully our plan is to mount this in as a shelf, but instead of putting this on the shelf, we have the mount that came with our heater. That'll mount somewhere on here. And then the heater, which is, do a thing on this this unit here nice little diesel heater basically like a little uh flamethrower heat exchanger chamber type thing it has a nice little metal tank inside here metal chamber that uh burns the fuel and then air passes around the outside of that and blows out here into the cabin so that will go like so there we go lower now since we have the heater right under the settee just on the other side of this bulkhead here our plan is to run the exhaust hose probably up through here in this very bottom corner which will come up under the stove and the oven we've already got a nice little insulated uh, heat plate here which is good we'll run it somewhere kind of roughly up here we'll probably put a little loop in it uh, to prevent any water backflow, back and then our vent is more than likely going to go out right there. This here is our uh, little through-hole vent. It's insulated there, so the uh, the hot part is not against the fiberglass. That'll go on the outside, probably probably something like that. That way we can have our loop come up and down. This is our exhaust hose. I think it's one inch stainless tubing. And it's, I believe this is authentic Planar, uh, which is one of the, the brands. That's the Russian brand of these heaters. This came all the way to us from Latvia. We thought we wanted a lot, so we got four something meters. We're probably gonna go a lot less than that. We're gonna feed it through the hole here and just see how it all looks. Cutting holes in the boat where it doesn't sink. Those will cut in a minute. This 
is a scary moment. I just drilled a hole in the side of our boat. I need someone's finger in the dike, please. Oh, oh, it's okay. I got my <laughs> finger on it. Somebody else put their finger on this. Okay. Yeah, you can see like a house out there. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go drill this from the outside now. Well, we had to change our heart. We drilled the pilot hole where we were planning on putting the exhaust. Looking at it from the outside once we actually saw it. We did not feel confident having a through hole in that location. Um, it's quite a ways above the waterline, but it's a big hole. And we didn't want to risk any sort of water coming in, even with the loop when we're heeled over sailing and whatnot. We've got an old, the old original AC wiring um, shore power comes through up there. They're, they're, those aren't in use and we're not planning on using them. Our whole, we had always thought about using that for the exhaust pipe. It kind of comes out above the side deck on the, um, what's the word, like out of the cabin top, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to try and use that now. we would kind of gone away from that, but yeah, like Hillary said, we just don't really want to have that through hole on the side of the boat where there's more chance of water. It'd probably be fine, but you know what, we've got two perfectly good ones up here. It'll mean a little bit different of an exhaust run, a little longer, and a few bends, but I guess we can try that before we put a big hole in the boat and change yeah, it later. Yeah, I think we kind of re-looked at it and found a way where we can kind of still minimize the bends and the length of the exhaust run. It'll be a little bit more visible, but it kind of has a cool industrial look. You know, it's a nice, like, stainless, cool looking <laughs> tubing, if you can call it that. But yeah, we'll try it out and see how it goes. So this is the old wiring that we're not, it was already cut, so we really don't have any idea what's good and where it runs and I mean you can see traces of it but we have no intention of running, we don't like AC wiring on a boat personally, um, we try to be as self-sufficient which means not needing the generator or being tied to the dock, uh, so we don't need the wiring. And what direction did you want it to face? It doesn't matter, I can turn it easy enough from there. Okay. Well, great news, we finally have some heat here on Makara. Uh, it's not all tidied up yet, this is just a test run. So where the wires run and exhaust everything is just kind of very loose, basically to make sure we don't burn something down. I'll give you a rundown, if you can listen quietly here, you can probably hear that little t -t -t -t. that's the fuel pump and that's bringing fuel out of I'll show you where we're going to put the fuel from now on so down here in the kitchen old ice box here is our fuel you can see that pumps out there's a fuel filter right here that goes through this is the pump that's bringing that fuel out of there you can hear it pumping nice and slow and then our fuel line just runs out over here right now alright so Hillary's already showed you that our heat is actually up under this starboard uh, settee here in one of the lockers at the back. You can see right now everything's just running up in through the hatch cover here. Uh, this is our fuel line. We've also got our wiring and the wiring right now is just kind of cobbled together and it's just tapped into where the inverter is right now uh, just to make it a little easier but it'll go directly to uh, a breaker here in the end um, once I wire it all in. Still have to do a few more things. We're gonna cut on this side here by the uh, the stove. We're gonna cut in a vent panel so we can get a lot of fresh air from the cabin in there. I don't know if you can see our, uh, our hot air vent out is down here. Um, and then our exhaust hose, it's gonna run pretty much where it is, but we're gonna tidy it up and shorten it and all that sort of jazz. But it's vented to the outside now to one of the old AC outlets and uh, that looked pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, we're gonna put this up. 
under here now as like a heat shieldy, I don't know, maybe decorative -y, but not really decorative -y, I guess. All right, so this is the exhaust hose that is for our diesel heater, which is down below that we got running yesterday. We've now got the bottom section, probably like the bottom four feet behind the stove here, is wrapped in a fiberglass exhaust wrap. That should uh, insulate it enough down there. If not, we have some uh, stainless steel plate that we'll put down there to reflect or just to basically protect the flooring in the hull um, so it doesn't scorch itself. What we're gonna use up here, there's about four feet here where it kind of runs along the ceiling and we're not wrapping that because we want it to keep the pretty factor going here. Um, and we're gonna put this bronze plate up here, which is, I think, the bottom, right, of the least conductive, heat conductive metals, uh, which is good. We're gonna cut this in half, and then we're gonna look at somehow placing it up here. And right now, we're leaning towards some construction adhesive. And we'll see if that will work. If not, we can tack it in and screw it in sort of thing. It's pretty light and flexible. So that'll run from here to here, and then the hose goes back up into here out that exhaust uh, into the outside. Um, now as of yesterday, so this is all clamped in now, and we've got the muffler on here as well. Um, this so far, we'll see how much heat this generates. You know, I may again put some plates up here, but basically what, as long as we're careful what we put up here, I think we'll be all right. Um, and we'll monitor it. We haven't done any heat tests yet, which, which I need to do, but I was waiting on our thermometer, which I think is out of a battery. This here is our vent hose that we've now wrapped in some fiberglass uh, insulation. And this will just help it retain some of that heat so it doesn't lose it. It's a very short run anyway, but all the heat we can retain the better um, until it gets out into the cabin. And then we'll uh, fire this up again in a little bit, hopefully. Today we are working on the very exciting project of installing a holding tank. Yay! Along with the heater, it's kind of one of our last projects aboard here to make Makara actually livable so we can move back on board. And Ty is in the engine room. We have a really good spot for it. We have an engine room here on Makara and the, right above where the day tank is, there's a big space that we've cleared out. We are going to epoxy in some little supports and mount the holding tank up there. So this is where the holding tank's going to go up here. Uh, it will come up that yay high. That'll plumb back through here into the, the uh, aft head. And then it'll also go back out. There'll be a drain that goes back through the bulkhead here into the aft where there's the, the overboard through hole. <clears throat> and then we'll also have an out, outlet here for a pump out overboard. Or a pump out, I guess, to a pump out station. So right now we're just going to sand back this uh, hole out here. So we can epoxy in some strips to match this and that'll be our support base for the holding tank which is sitting right beside Hillary there and trying to keep the fiberglass off us the best we can because that's some itchy stuff. It's going to be one of the supports that goes in the engine room and it's going to support or part, form part of the support for our new holding tank. And you can see here, Hillary's talked about this before, this is our VHB tape that we're using. It's like a 3M product. It's like a super adhesive double-sided tape. Apparently you can stick all sorts of things up with this. It works much better if you've got two flat surfaces. This area we're doing right now should be pretty smooth. It's all sanded back and it's a much more even, consistent surface along with this. So we just got a bunch of this VRB tape that Hillary's put on here. VHB. That'll, sorry, VHB tape. I always get that wrong. Um, that'll help keep it against the wall while this epoxy that we've got on here will obviously squish out and set. Um, we're just keeping it away a little bit so when we squish it in it doesn't go over the VHB tape. Let's hope it sticks. As we worked hard to get Makara closer to a livable condition, there were still lots to wrap up, including some leaks. But that's our next adventure. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed and learned something, we'd love a thumbs up. And make sure you're subscribed as well. Until next time. Numbers, two numbers in metric, you know, like seven minus four. Uh, I didn't I, create the imperial system. Uh, guys, and get rid of the penny!
It's like a sound effect for like when you like drop a tool and you have to swear and you're like, oh gosh! Doesn't quite sound like. No, that. I know. It's like you.